This is the Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic 29 gallon oiled uh, air compressor. I've had this unit since about 2013 and it's about the time for me to change the oil in it and I figured while I was doing that I'd fix two of the major design flaws of this unit that bother the heck out of everybody if you've read the reviews for these things on the Harbor Freight website you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the first one, the biggest pain, is the oil drain plug right here. This is a a metric bolt, uh, it's a five and a half millimeter hex, and the threading is an M6. Uh, and for some reason this is A, right here, kind of recessed back on this ledge. So if you want to drain the oil, you remove the oil plug up here, you remove this, and oil just goes everywhere. I mean, there's no way to get a funnel into here to catch it. Now, some people have engineered like a plastic chute to set right here so the oil comes down and, 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 and is caught eventually. But I'm gonna see if I can't engineer something a little better to make that easier. The other thing we're gonna fix is the damn tank drain to get rid of the uh, water uh, from the tank underneath. So that's a pretty simple one. So I'm gonna fix the tank drain valve first. I've got the compressor on its side uh, and the, the, the pump is actually drained of oil. So you really don't wanna do this while it's full of oil or if you do do it while it's full of oil, wait a day for the oil to settle back down before you um, restart the compressor. Uh, use an adjustable wrench, remove this, uh, remove this drain thing, and, uh, and then the, the easy solution here is fortunately off the shelf. So go to your nearest uh, big box store and get one of these things, an extended compressor tank drain valve assembly. Uh, the one catch here, this is about 20 bucks or a little more at your favorite online retailer. The one other thing you'll need is a 3 8 to quarter inch reducer. Uh, because this is a 3 8 inch drain and this only comes in a quarter inch for some reason. So we're going to put this in the tank, this into that, and then this is going to be a lot easier to drain the water out of uh, whenever I'm running it. Okay, so you missed the exciting part, but this is already fixed. Uh, so this is the 3 8 to quarter inch trans uh, reducer and this is the, the elbow and the tank drain thing. So uh, make sure if you're putting this in that the, uh, this elbow is facing the front of the tank so it's easier to, to drain. And, uh, and it should be in enough. It already had, these things already had pipe dope on them uh, so, or thread sealant. So it sh shouldn't have to put any Teflon tape or any pipe dope on them. So this thing's ready to go. Okay, now to fix the most annoying design flaw of, of this compressor mount, uh, the oil drain plug. So mine, if I said five and a half millimeter, I was wrong earlier. This is a five millimeter hex metric bolt with an M6 threading. I actually took this into the hardware store and they have that little uh, plate that you can screw, try to screw your bolt into. And I kept, I kept going and going and going until I got to M6. So that's how I found it exactly what this was. So we'll use a five millimeter to remove it. Um, again, your compressor, if they're newer models, might be a bit different, but hopefully the same the same kind of fix will work for you. And it's recessed back here about like a, an inch and it's so stupid. So fortunately, I found some parts off the shelf that might work to fix this. This is the key right here. And I only found this at one store on the internet and I'll try to put links to it in the, co in the, uh, in the notes section of this video. This is an M6 to eighth inch NPT adapter. This will screw in to the drain plug here. I know it's a small opening, but it'll work. And then once we have, uh, this is eighth inch NPT, we'll be able to put in uh, an extension and a, and, a, and, a, and a ball valve to make it easier to drain the oil. So the one frustrating thing about this part is it's too wide uh, kind of at the base of it. So screwing in here, it will it will start to it will start to screw in, but the 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 kind of uh, the the main body of it's a bit too wide to fit into this opening. So I'm going to use our friend Mr. Bench Grinder and see if I can't massage this a little bit and make it fit smoother. Okay, it's kind of sloppy, but that's okay. Uh, if, if, this were, if this were any sort of real industrial environment, you wouldn't do this, but since this is just going on a home oil compressor, 
uh, that's not really under any sort of pressure, uh, I just went ahead and did this. So don't try this at home if, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but now that I've grinded this down, it will actually screw in here neatly without any interference from the body or the block of the, uh, the air pump. And so before I lock that in there, I'm going to put some pipe dope on it. Um, but that is exactly what we needed to get this drain extended or project started. So I'll get this in here and show you the next step. So a little time has passed since I did this. As you can see, it's daylight out. Uh, but here is that final ground, uh, grounded piece attached to uh, an extension and a ball valve. And I even put a cap on the end just to make it look nice. Again, all you really need probably is this adapter that takes it from an M6 thread to a 1 8 NPT and then a valve and then you're done and it's really easier to drain this thing. Um, but then all I would do is screw this in here and I'm done. And uh, let me do a magic stop and start here. And like magic, we're done. Uh, so again, th there's some of that blue thread lock around there that, that's meant for high vibration areas, which of course this is. And, uh, and now, whenever I want to drain the oil in this thing, I remove the cap, hook up a little uh, rubber hose to it, open the valve, and, uh, and off I go. So, it's not the most attractive thing, but it's a, certainly a lot less painful than the original, um, this stupid original design, an M6 through, uh, M6, you know, five millimeter bolt. So, looking forward to the next oil change in this thing in the next five years. Thanks for watching.